Good on eyes, East Alabama reporter Reagan Ranzer is live in Dadeville outside of that location where the shooting happened. And Reagan, I know you spoke with the birthday girl and her mother earlier today. Of course, his mom also losing her son, Philistavius Dowdell, to the shooting. Tell us more about uh, what they had to say and how they are getting through all of this. Barbara, the sister and mother told me the only way they've been getting through this has been from the community support as well as staying strong, something they told me Phil would have wanted. Now, Alexis Dowdell had her sweet 16 birthday at this local dance studio, as you can see right behind me, and she says she never would have expected something like this to happen. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. It started out as a typical Sweet 16 birthday party Saturday night at a local dance studio in downtown Dadeville when all of a sudden gunfire erupted. The birthday girl Alexis Dowdell's brother Phil Stavius Dowdell was killed along with Marcia Collins, Sean Kevia Smith and Corbin Holston. Six people have been arrested in connection to the mass shooting. 17 year old Tyreek McCullough and his brother, 16 year old Travis McCullough, 19 year old Willie Brown Jr., 20 year old Johnny Brown, 20 year old Wilson Hill Jr. and a 15 year old all facing four counts of reckless murder charges. Birthday girl Alexis Dowdell says when gunfire erupted, her brother pushed her to the ground, ultimately saving her life. My last moments with him were um, before the shooting. Um, we had sung one last song together and that was the last video I had got in my phone of my party was me and him. When Alexis realized her brother was shot, she held him in her arms. And I just told him to stay strong and stay with me. And I told him that he was going to make it through and stuff. But I wish I would have gave him a little kiss on the forehead like I always do. But those were my last moments with him. Mother Latonia Allen says after her son's graduation from Dadeville High School next month, Phil was headed to Jacksonville State University on a football scholarship. He always told me, Mama, I'm going to make it. You're going to be seeing me. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be in the NFL. I ain't gonna stop till I get to the top. Allen described her son as a loving individual who always put others before himself. I want everyone to remember him by his big smile. He was always happy. I just want people to remember him as being a good child, friend, and just a good person all around. Now, Barbara, Alexis tells me her friends, as long as some of their friends that they invited were at that party. And although she doesn't know any of the suspects that were arrested, one face is familiar to her. One of the football players that played her brother in high school, um, she knows from that um, case. And she says other than that, she doesn't know who they are at all. Well, we'll keep you updated on this ongoing investigation, of course, on air and online. Live in Dadeville, Reagan Ranzer, WTVM News Leader 9. Yeah, still so many questions to be answered concerning, uh, you know, how and why all of this happened. Of course, we'll continue to, to push for answers. All right, Reagan, thank you so much for the live report.